Hi, this is Kit with Scrapbook Warehouse. Today we're going to do a simple card that you can make with Penny Black and Sizzix. All products are listed in the link above or below this video. I must say that this simple card was totally a pleasure to create for you. You really can't go wrong with ferns and butterflies. By the time I had finished videotaping, I was now in need of a hello card as well, so I made another one with a different color scheme. I hope you enjoy it. The die I used for the blue card is a My Favorite Things die called Thanks and Hello. It's a great deal at under $12. I find I use that kind of greeting for so many different cards, so you'll use it again and again. The first thing I did was to die cut all of my pieces, and then afterwards I moved on to the coloring with oxide inks. A metal shim must be used when die cutting intricate dies. It's so important. Just makes your card making that much easier and those designs to pop out very simply and complete. I always like to cut an extra of my sentiment just in case I make a mistake, which I did here with the spice marmalade. On this hello, I have a nice ombre effect, which you can see on the thank you. I replicate that on my hello. The nice thing about this card is that gray goes with any color. So if you don't have these particular ones or you have something else that you would prefer to use, it should work just fine. Now, because the dye and glue needs some time to dry, I make sure to glue the intricate overlay of the butterfly to the underneath part of the butterfly first before I move on to coloring the fern. Whenever I need a cardstock panel in a color that will match and I don't have it on hand, I just go ahead and use the oxide inks from within the card and I use that to dye my white cardstock. This is a great easy way to always make sure your colors coordinate. Now I take my ferns and I put on a lot of oxide ink. You can do an ombre with this if you want, make a gradient fade, or whatever you like. To give my card a bit of dimension, I'm going to use embossing powder in clear while the ink is still wet. As always, I put small items in a glass bowl when I'm using the heat gun on them. That means they're not going to blow away and I'm not going to burn my fingers. I wanted to add some color texture onto the panel itself. So I took some oxide ink in black, used a spritzer for water, loaded up my paintbrush, and then I tapped my two little paintbrushes together and that gives me a nice freckling effect. To get larger, more messy looking dots, I can actually flick my paintbrush across my acrylic block. Now it's time to start assembling my card. Once my front panel is dried off with the heat gun, I'm going to make sure to put my adhesive on the back of the frame and not on the panel itself. That just makes it easier to put together. So I do have a long streak of dots on my front card panel. And so I'm just trying to at this point decide if I want that up or down so I know where to put my ferns. Now it's time to play around with our design elements and assemble our card. So I'm going to put some music on for you and we'll be back shortly. So for an added touch, you'll notice that I used a wink of Stella just on the butterfly to give it a bit of sparkle. Now I'm going to add a few sequins just to make my look complete. Thank you so much for watching today. This is Kit with Scrapbook Warehouse. Please don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit our website for lots of great crafting ideas. Thanks again and happy crafting.